Hello and welcome to another update video about Matic. Um, yeah, we've seen um, or we're seeing currently quite a strong sell-off in the crypto market. Matic also affected, but not in a major way at this stage. I was just looking at the chart and hoping we would finally see a breakdown, um, but it's not happening yet. Yeah, and so we still have the potential on the chart that in this way forward we could see a C wave to the upside before breaking down. But one more low is certainly still expected at this stage, especially as long as we stay below one dollar and four. That is the threshold level and a scenario where or the level where the current scenario and idea needs to be revised. But for now, I assume that we're coming down here. A third wave low was printed um, here on the 12th of May that this is just corrective, which it, it clearly is like here. Yeah. Um, and that, of course, we can go a little higher and that would actually be ideal because the standard retracement or standard resistance for such a way for is typically between the 23.6 retracement and the 50% retracement, even though the wave, you know, the 50% retracement would be quite a strong way for um, and the ideal target or ideal retracement for a way for is normally the 38.2 retracement at $1 or 99 cents, actually. So, um, yeah, as long as we stay below that range, or at least as long as we don't break above one dollar four, one more low in a fifth wave here down here is still expected. Where we and we would expect support already in this region between sixty eight cents and seventy six cents. Yeah, and then we need to take it from there. It can even go lower. So my message here has been that we really need to see an impulse to the upside and the three wave pullback to confirm that Matic is bottomed. At present, we haven't seen that. We just see corrective sideways movement. And the idea would be because of that to see a move to the downside. Now, this is starting to get quite long for a classical bear flag, but it still is corrective. But I wouldn't rule out that higher C wave before we come down. Um, but yeah, it's, it's just moving in the channel. So we need to wait for a breakout here. Um, what I'm saying is that this is getting quite long for, for a so-called bear flag. So I've often seen when they get so long, that they do a bit of a rally to the upside before we come down. But again, you know, um, the higher level scenario certainly um, is, is more relevant than the shorter time frame where, yeah, surely we could go a little higher, but overall one more low is still expected. And that situation here hasn't changed. Um, I'm, ca I'm count the move up as an A wave here in a nice three wave structure. Here we could say um, off the 12th of May low, A wave up, uh, B wave down, C wave up or even WXY, then here nice A, B, C to the downside or another WXY. And um, yeah, this C could now be a wave one to the upside in wave C, a wave two to the downside, but that should literally turn around now. Then we could get a three, four, five. It's just how it could work out, right? But this is speculation to a certain degree. So what I'm saying is as long as we're holding that 12th of May low, we can still keep that idea alive that we might go higher in the C wave. Huh? Um, now, has the C wave started or not? It might have. Then it needs to hold the 84 and a half cent level. If it breaks below that, this could simply be an extension of the B wave before we go higher. Hope that's clear. But yeah, it's choppy, it's corrective. They can move a lot, these waves, uh, especially in corrections. That's not so clear in an impulse. There we have stable, rather stable impulses, but nothing is ever stable in the crypto market. Um, but yeah, in corrections, the waves need to be adjusted frequently. It's, it's what it is, right? Therefore, I often say don't focus too much on the micro count. Yeah, because you will lose opportunities. You will believe they are very, you, you will think they will, well, they are very predictive, but the predictive quality of Elliott wave really reduces on the very small time frames. but they can still be used for orientation, the waves, okay? Um, so I normally go into that much detail, but I think this is sort of what we can go with ABC. Let's see if we can push a little higher, but Bitcoin doesn't make the impression at the moment as if it wants to stop already its downtrend. So we might, you know, we might head down straight away. Just keep an eye on these relevant levels. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership and also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. You can find the links for those in the video description. We've got additional content there. We update it every day. You know, there's some signals, there's some stuff about mindset, trading and so on. Okay, that's my update. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.